Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Wednesday. We got 12 matchups on this NBA slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys like betting on NBA player props, go ahead and sign up with Parlay Play. They're doing a promo, a March Madness promo from every round, so uh, up until Sunday for the first round. Um, a minimum of a $5 deposit will get you um, a $5 bonus match plus $10. So basically deposit 5 bucks and get $20 to play with. Insane promo, guys. Go ahead and hop in there. Take advantage. Very simple. And um, hopefully you guys can get some nice wins as well. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Um, very busy slate today starting with the Atlanta Hawks versus the Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte opening up as one and a half point home favorites with the over under at 237 and a half. The last three head to head Atlanta two and one, two and one covering the spread. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Um, no major injuries, no John Collins still for Atlanta. Atlanta coming into this on a three game winning streak. They're six and four in their last 10. Uh, Charlotte on a two game winning streak. They are five and five in their last 10. Atlanta 0 oh and six covering the spread right now. 0 oh and five covering on the road. Kind of crazy. They're just not a good covering team right now. Charlotte four and two covering in their last six. Um, yeah, both teams. On a little couple game win streak here. I'm going to take the Hornets at home. You know, you're basically in a pick em scenario at a one two point uh, spread. I'm going to favor the home team in this matchup. Next matchup, we have the Denver Nuggets versus the Washington Wizards. Denver opening up as five and a half point road favorites with the over under at 228 and a half. The last three head to head. Washington is two and one, two and one covering the spread. The overs hit in two out of the last three matchups. Um, no major injuries here. Denver coming off that nice win over the 76ers. They're seven and three in their last 10. Washington coming into this on a four game win or four game losing streak. Sorry. And they're three and seven in their last ten. Uh, Denver six and zero on the road, where they've been able to get it done. Um, the Wizards just one and four covering in their last five. Yeah, I like the Nuggets minus five and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we have the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Philly opening up as four point road favorites with the over under at 217 and a half. The last three head to head, Philly is 3 and 0. 2 and 1 covering the spread. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Um, no Rondo or Wade for the Cavs. Philly coming off that Denver loss. They're 8 and 2 in their last 10. Cleveland. Four and six in their last ten. They did lose to Philly in their last meeting by six points. Um, Philly five and one on the road. Cleveland just four and eight covering the spread right now. Um, yeah, you know I like the Sixers minus four. They won by six last time, so I do feel like it could be potentially a pretty cl another pretty close game as well. Uh, Philly playing good on the road. I'm going to lean with the Sixers money line. And, um, you know, I'm not in love with the minus four on the road, but I definitely think they can win on the road here. Next matchup, we have the Dallas Mavericks versus the Brooklyn Nets. Dallas opening up as one and a half point road favorites with the over under at 220 and a half. The last three head to head Dallas two and one, two and one covering the spread. The overs hit and just zero out of the last three matchups. Uh, no Reggie Bullock for the Mavs here. And then, you know, uh, no Kyrie. 
coming off a 60 point game against the Magic. That was a pretty crazy game. Um, Mass, eight and two in their last 10. They're on a two game win streak. Brooklyn on a four game win streak. They're five and five in their last 10. Mavs seven and zero covering on the road. Nine and two covering in their last 11. I mean, Mavs are playing some of the best basketball in the league right now. Um, Brooklyn 0 and five covering at home. Yeah, they Brooklyn hasn't been a good home team. They're three and seven at home against Dallas. Look, until the Mavs start playing bad and just become unreliable, I'm taking the Mavs every single game. I mean, I just am. They're playing too good. They're getting good value almost every single game. And, um, you know, if Kyrie, if Kyrie was playing, this would be a different story. But without Kyrie, Curry is questionable. Um, no Aldridge. Makes it hard to trust the Nets here. Um, give me the Mavs money line on the road. Next matchup, we have the Portland Trail Blazers versus the New York Knicks. The Knicks opening up as 11-point home favorites with the over-under at 224.5. The last three head-to-head -head Portland is 2-1, and 1-2 one. One and two covering the spread. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups of the Knicks. No Nerlens Noel or Grimes for this matchup. Portland just 3-7 in their last 10. Knicks 3-7 in their last 10 as well. I mean, both teams are playing pretty bad, but Knicks have a much better roster. And uh, Portland 0-5 on the road. Knicks surprisingly 6-0 covering the spread right now. I like the Knicks at home. I'm not in love with the 11-point spread just because Knicks really aren't good enough to beat any team by double digits, even the Blazers. So um, maybe staying away from the spread, throw them in a teaser. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to roll with the Knicks at home. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota opening up as 8.5 point home favorites with the over-under at 237.5. The last ten or last three head-to-head -head Minnesota is 2-1, and 3-0 and oh covering the spread. The over just 0 oh and 3 in the last three matchups. Uh, LeBron is questionable, so be sure to see his status if he does play. Um, the Lakers just 2 and 8 in their last 10. I mean, they've gotten embarrassed in their last two matchups here. Uh, Minnesota 8 and 2 in their last 10. Um, I mean, they're playing great basketball. Lakers 0 oh and 10 on the road, 2 and 8 covering the spread. Minnesota 12 and 2 at home where they've been playing really good. Rolling with the Timberwolves at home. Eight and a half, you know, not in love with it. Um, but nonetheless, we're taking the Timberwolves and they could easily cover the spread and blow it out. So be cautious with the spread. And um, yeah. Zero, zero trust on the Lakers, probably the rest of the season. Rolling with the Timberwolves at home. Next matchup, we have the Phoenix Suns versus the Houston Rockets. Suns opening up as 11-point road favorites with the over-under at 235.5. The last three head-to-head -head Phoenix is 3-0, 2-1 covering the spread. The over's hidden two out of the last three matchups. Um, no major injuries here. Cam Johnson is questionable for the Suns. Suns on a two-game winning streak. They're 6-4 in their last 10. Houston just 2-8 and eight in their last 10. Phoenix on a 7-game win streak against Houston. 15-2 and two on the road. Um, Houston just 3-17 and 17 at home. Not going to get done. Um, yeah, we're taking Suns money line and spread. Throw them in a parlay. Throw them in a teaser. Roll them with Phoenix here. Next matchup, we have the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the San Antonio Spurs. The Spurs opening up as 14-point home favorites with the over-under at 234.5. The last three head-to-head -head Spurs are 2-1, and one. Um, just 1-2 one and two covering the spread. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Um, yeah, no Doug McDermott uh, job or Langford 
or Kaka with the are out for the Spurs. OKC, I mean, they have tons of tons of guys out. Thunder, they are on a six-game losing streak right now. Spurs on a two-game losing streak. They're just three and seven in their last ten. They're not playing much better, honestly. OKC, zero oh and six. Yeah, on that six-game losing streak here, um, not playing that good. Not in love with this matchup. I do like the Spurs to get a win at home, but 14 points. You know, I would roll my dice with the Thunder on the spread. Uh, that's just a lot of points for a Spurs team that's not playing that good. Um, I do like the Spurs money line to win at home, um, but I'm going to take the Thunder plus the points on the road. Next matchup, we have the Chicago Bulls versus the Utah Jazz. Jazz opening up as six-point home favorites with the over-under at 225.5. The last three head-to-head, -head, Utah is 2-1, and 1-2 one, one and two covering the spread. The over just 0-3 in the last three matchups. Um, no Bogdanovich or Daniel House Jr. for the Jazz. Chicago 4-6 and six in their last 10. The Jazz 6-4 and four in their last 10. Um, yeah, Chicago 0-5 covering on the road. 1-7 covering the spread. They've kind of been struggling here with the spread. Uh, Jazz 9-1 at home where they get it done. Um, just 1-6-1 one, one covering the spread. Both teams not doing good covering the spread here. I do like the Jazz at home. Um, they've been the really good home team. Bulls have been struggling, especially covering the spread. Going to take the Jazz at home. The six points, though, I'm not in love with. I actually think the Bulls could could definitely cover that six-point spread on the road. Um, I'm probably staying away from the spread, and I'm sticking with the Jazz at home. Next matchup, we have the Boston Celtics versus the Golden State Warriors. Warriors opening up as three-point home favorites with the over-under at 221 and a half. The last three head-to-head -head Boston is 2-1, and 2-0-1 two -oh covering the spread. The overs hit in two out of the last three matchups. Uh, no Iguodala or Gary Payton. Wiggins is questionable for the Warriors. Boston 7-3 uh, and three in their last 10. Warriors on a four-game winning streak. Uh, they're five and five in their last ten. Yeah, Boston eight and one on the road. A seven two and one covering against the Warriors. Warriors five and zero oh covering the spread. Yeah, going to be a great matchup here. Two good teams here. Um, I like the Celtics plus three on the road, coming off that uh, home loss against the Mavericks. Going to be a home, going to be a nice a nice matchup and. Uh, I think it could, it could go re either way, honestly. So I'm going to take the three points with the Celtics on the road. Next matchup, we have the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Sacramento Kings. Bucks opening up as eight and a half point road favorites with the over-under at 240. The last 10 head-to-head, -head, the Bucks are 10-0, 6-4 covering the spread. The overs hit in each of the last 10 matchups. That's a pretty intriguing stat right there. Uh, the Bucks 7-3 in their last 10. Sacramento just 3-7 in their last 10. Yeah, Bucks. They've been so dominant against um, against the Kings here. Yeah, I don't really trust the Kings. Give me the Bucks. Money line spread and over on the road. And then the last matchup, we have the Toronto Raptors versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Toronto opening up as a one and a half point road favorite with the over under at 218. The last three head to head, Clippers are two and one. One and two covering the spread. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Um, I do see Reggie Jackson, Morris, and Covington are all probable for the Clippers. The Toronto, Fred Van Vliet is questionable, so be sure to go and check his status. Toronto on a four-game winning streak right now. Clippers 6-4 uh, and four in their last 10. Toronto 10-5 ten and five covering against the Clippers. 5-1 and one covering on the road. 
I like Toronto on the road here, money line coming off a huge game where they just they you know they dominated the Lakers that whole game. They're on a nice four game win streak. You know, good wins over Phoenix and Denver, and um, yeah, in a pretty much pick 'em scenario, I like the Raptors on the road. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Wednesday. Hope you guys all cash out. And I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a good one.